this video i am going to apply bessel's formula to obtain y at 32 given that so 25 value is given 30 value is given 35 and 40 values are given so i have to find out f of 32 the value for 32 i have to calculate using the bessel's formula so for that first of all i have to frame this forward difference table so what are the x values here so by seeing you can see that is 25 30 35 40 these are all the x values so i have plotted here so i have mentioned here that x values are 25 30 35 40 and the next corresponding y values are so these are the y values now i have to frame this forward difference table first i have to subtract the upper one minus lower one so this is uh, zero point this is three zero two seven minus this is zero point this is two seven zero seven the value here is zero point this is zero this is three two and the next one here is zero point three three eight eight minus this is zero point this is three zero this one is two seven the value here is a zero point this is zero this is three six one and the next one this is zero point this is three seven nine four minus this is zero point three three double eight the value here is zero point zero this is four zero six and the next difference value we have to make is 0.0 this is 361 minus 0.0 this is 32 the value here will be so in the third position we have to write 00 0.00 this value is 41 and the next one here is 0.0 this is 406 minus 0.0 this is 361 the value here is so this is 0.0 this is 45 minus 0.00 this is 41 the value here is 0.000 this value is 4 so after finishing this one so which value we have to find out so we have to find out the x value is nothing but so if you see this one the x value is nothing but 32 so our x value is equal to 32 the nearest value to x here is 30 so this is the nearest value c i am plotting it as x not so as it is bessel's interpolation formula so b stands for by so we have to immediately take two values by means two double single double single so this is the shortcut you have to remember if it's a stirling's formula s for single so we have to take for single value double single double so whereas in the bessel's interpolation formula double single double single so x not we got as 30 and h value see here this will be x2 minus x1 40 minus 35 this value is 5 so now we have a formula ready here as x is equal to x not plus p into h x is equal to this value is 32 and x not value is 30 and this is p value and h value is nothing but 5 so this is 32 minus 30 divided by 5 is equal to p so which is equal to 2 by 5 is equal to p and we got the x value here is 0.4 so p value we got as this value is 0.4 so after getting the p value so we have to substitute everything in the bessel's formula so what is our bessel's formula see here according to the bessel's formula So now I am going to apply the specials formula. So again, I am telling you the shortcut here. This is zero and this is one. So we have to write in a decreasing order. Zero after this is minus one. This is minus two. And here zero, one, zero. This is minus one. In between, I am writing minus one. And there is another logic here. So you have to remember zero, one, minus one, two, minus two. And before that, I am writing half. See, please remember these two. and from this i'm going to write the bessel's formula so yp value is equal to see here so this will be of y so this is y and this is delta this is delta square so this is delta cube and this is delta par 4 and look here so yp value will be y not plus y1 by 2 so we have to take see here first we have to take double values so this is double single double single and double so y not plus y1 divided by 2 and the next value here is i have to take this half this is p minus half times 
by 1 factorial into so the first difference here that is delta y minus 1 and the next one I am going to close this half and I am going to take this two values that is 0 1 0 and uh, 1 so I can write this as p minus 0 into this is p minus 1 by 2 factorial into so the second difference value will be this will be delta square y minus 1 plus this is delta square y naught divided by 2. Next one, I am again rejoining this one and I am taking these three values. This is half 0, 1. The next one, see here, this is p minus half, this is p minus 0, this is p minus 1. By after 2 factorial, this will be 3 factorial into delta cube. So, this will be delta cube y minus 1. And the next one here, again I am closing this half and I am taking 4 values. That is 0, 1, minus 1, 2. See here, this is 0, 1, 2, minus 1. So, I am taking 4 values. See here, I am writing the same thing here. This is P minus 0. This is P minus 1. This is P plus 1. This is P minus 2 by 4 factorial. See here, P minus 0, P minus 1, P plus 1, P minus 2 by 4 factorial into coming to the fourth difference here. So, this will be delta power 4, y power minus 2. Again, delta power 4, this is y power, y minus 1 by 2. It is a bisection plus and so on. So, if I keep on substituting all the values slowly, I can substitute all the values here. So, if I substitute all the values, you see from the table. So, what is our p value here? So, p is nothing but, so this is most important, p is nothing but 0. 0.4. So, this value is nothing but this is a 0. 0.4. So, now I am going to substitute here. So, x naught, the corresponding values will be y naught. So, these two, this is y naught and this is y1. See here, our y p value will be, first value will be according to this. This is, see here, look, this is 0. Point, this is 3027 plus 0. Point, this is 3388 divided by 2. See here, next one, p value. What is our p value here? This is 0. 0.4. This is 0. 0.4 and half value is nothing but minus 0. 0.5 by 1 factorial into delta, the first difference value here from the table. So, double single we have to take 0. 0.0361. It is 0. 0.0, this is 361 plus. Here, this is p minus 0. So, what is our p here? This is 0. 0.4 minus 0 and this is 0 0.4 so this is 0 0.4 minus 1 by 2 into the double values we have to take the next double value is 0 0.0041 this is 0 0.0041 and the next one this is a 0 0.00 this is 45 divided by 2 see here the next one we have to take p minus 0 so, what is this P? P is nothing but 0. 0.4 minus 0. This is 0. 0.4 minus 1. So, this is 0. 0.4 plus 1. This is 0. 0.4 minus 2 divided by 4 factorial. So, which is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. So, in between we have uh, delta cube. See here, delta cube. Anyway, so this is P minus 1 p minus 0, p plus 1. So, this is p plus 1, p minus by 4 factorial into delta power 4 value. So, there is no delta power 4 value. So, I am writing it as 0. And the next one here is delta cube value, p minus half. So, this is p minus half. What is that p value? That is 0 0.4 minus 0 0.5 and p minus 0. So, this is 0 0.4 minus 0. This is 0 0.4 minus 1 divided by 3 factorial is nothing but 6 delta cube value. So, after writing all this, so we have to take this. That is 0 0.0004. So, this value no need. So, no need of this value as there are no fourth difference values. So, please delete this one. And now, see here. So, let me write all these values. So, if I write all these values, you see the average here, I have to find out that is 0. Point, this is 3027 plus this is 0. Point, this is 3388 divided by 2. The value here is 0. Point. So, this is 0. Point, 
this is 3, 2, 0, this is a 7, 5. And the next value here is minus into plus. So, this value, so this is 0 0.4 minus 0 0.5 into this is 0 0.0, this is 3, 6, 1. The value here will be. So, this value will be 0. Point, this is 0, 0, this is 3, 6, 1. And the next value here is 0. 0.4. This is plus and this is minus. Again, this will be minus. See here, this is 0 0.4 into, so this value is 0 0.6 into the average of these. That is 0 0.0041 plus 0 0.0045 divided by. So here, this is 2 into 2. So this value will be divided by 4. So, here the value here is 0 0.000, this is 516, this is 516 and this value 0, there are no values here and if you observe this third difference value, so this is 0 0.4 minus 0 0.5 and here into this is 0 0.4 into this is minus 0 0.6 into this is 0 0.0004 divided by this value is 6 the value here will be so in the sixth position we have to write that is plus this is 0 0.123456 this is 16 so now we have to frame this value so this will be the final value this is 0 0.32075 minus this is 0 0.00361 minus 0 0.000 that is 516 plus 0 0.123456 got it that is yes so this will be see here our yp value so y at 32 value is equal to 0 0.31662416 so it is approximately 0 0.31662416 so this is the value and this is how we have to frame and how this is how we have to substitute all these values see here there is no need of this value see here please remember there is no need to substitute this one so double single double and again single so these values are enough and see here first of all we have to find frame the forward difference table and after finding that we have to calculate the p value and after that we have to use this Bessel's formula in that we have to substitute p is equal to 4 and from the tables we have to write this double single double single values so here the double single double single values and now after calculating we got this value as a 0 0.3166 so this is how we have to solve thank you so much so you can do as many problems as you can using this process and if you really like please pass it on